Welcome. LG Chem will show you how to install the new Resu series. Before the installation, please make sure to read the installation manual thoroughly. Prepare tools for installation. Note that the tools and cable necessary for the installation are not provided by LG Chem. Wear the safety gears listed in the installation manual at all times and refer to the manual for clearance and installation location. In the package, you will find a wall mounting bracket, one installation manual, two M6 wall mount screws, and the Razu battery pack. Please open the package of the Rezu set carefully. First, the wall mounting bracket needs to be fixed. Please note that the Rezu 7H and Rezu 10H can only be wall mounted. For wall mounting bracket installation, make sure you have at least 720 millimeters above the ground. Mark the location on the wall by placing the bracket to the wall and then drill anchor screws to the wall. Use at least four bolts for area one and three and at least two bolts for area two and four. The distance between bolts in area one and two and three and four must be at least 250 millimeters. The wall mount bracket must be leveled. Attach the lifting handles to the hex socket screws located at the back of both sides of the Rezu pack. Lift the battery pack using the handles. Handle the Rezu 10H carefully as it weighs about 100 kilograms. Note that the wall on which the battery pack will be mounted has a capability to support weight over 150 kilograms. Now, it's time to fix the battery to the wall mounting bracket. Since the battery is extremely heavy, LG Chem recommends to use manual lift for the installation. Lift the battery pack and place the pack over the U-shaped clip of the bracket. Remove the lifting handles and tighten the two hex socket screws located at the back of left side of the battery pack with a torque of 5 newton meters. Open the cover of the wiring section of the battery pack on the right bottom of the pack by pulling on the two latches on the rear side. Press the button at the bottom of each latch to open them. Remove the cover by opening it slowly until it separates from the pack. Loosen the screw on the right bottom side of the protection cover and remove it. Remove the plastic cap from the hole located at the bottom and insert the 3 quarter inch conduit plug. Thread power and communication cables through the conduit pipe and connect the conduit pipe with a conduit plug. The conduit plug must be sealed to comply with IP55. Use wire stripper to cut off the wire coating. Connect power cable to the corresponding terminal block. Plus, minus, and ground port are marked above from left to right. Specifications of all cables for the power and communication spring terminals are described in the installation manual. Use wire stripper to cut off the wire coating of the communication cables. Connect the cables to the corresponding terminal blocks. Corresponding terminal blocks are marked above them.
Turn on the auxiliary power switch and reattach the plastic protection cover. If your battery pack doesn't have the auxiliary power switch, just reattach the plastic protection cover. Tighten the screw on the bottom right side of the cover. Turn on the circuit breaker. The on and two battery signs will appear, and then only the on light will remain. If the inverter is not in operation, or battery is not connected to the inverter, a fault sign will appear.